Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Just gonna shut the door. Here comes that jackhammer in again. I think that's a good sign. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, for those who watch Leo, I did do an extended when I said I wasn't, but I did one for the ones who are going after new love. That new love was there and I thought that was important. What I didn't wanna do was share was to share to show that energy and then anyone would be scared right so that's why i did it that way but i do have a short clip on on patreon for you guys anywho this is for my saggies this is for my saggies this is for my saggies somehow you're always tied into this but i'm hoping that it's a different type of tie Okay, that is a different type of tie, and you're gonna welcome something new and fabulosa. Okay, so Sag week four, Sagittarius week four, May 2021. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Compromise, staying alive, staying alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. New direction. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. And abandoned. Whoa. You see that slide? Okay. The same thing just happened in the Leo where I felt the need to separate. Um, uh, it's almost like telling me in order for you to have this new direction, you need to let go of something. What to me, Kessel, what to me, I know. I know you want to chew on the grass. Come on. I just can't listen to you chewing right yet. So, go ahead and chew on that grass. That was supposed to be for Sheldon. I don't even want to pull Leo into this. But it was just a prime example. So, I want to get one more. To me, you could be leaving something that no longer makes you happy. And you're just leaving it. Okay. Yeah, leaving some type of cycle that no longer is working for you. So it looks like you're about to compromise. It's almost like your happy new direction does not make somebody else happy. Yeah, see? Welcoming the one, meeting the one, getting together, and then you got the Grim Reaper. This relationship's over, no second chances, transforming your life, and abundance is creeping out. So we do. We have two different scenarios. So I don't know if you're starting because that came out first too. So I don't know if you're starting something new. Again, two categories. And it's it's funny because I did two categories for Aries. And then I still ended up doing an extended for Leo. Holy shit. Why, guys? Why? <laughs> oh man okay jeez unreal tell me about this new direction this lesson with new direction so you're compromising with somebody courage having the courage to, to go after it tell me about this cycle so there's a little fear behind this one as fear came out. It's fear to have, well, there's fear behind both of them. They both represent the same exact message. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like not wanting to move forward. I'm surprised Crossroads aren't here. I do feel like it's two different groups though. In order to have this, you have to have the courage. I think you might not even know who this is. Some of you do. Others of you, you're discussing it with a friend moving forward. On your path, you will find the perfect person. You have to have the courage to go forward. 
Over here, there's a cycle that's over. You're worried about being abandoned. You're worried about wrapping up a cycle and being abandoned. But you know what? I realize I'm testing and resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay? Obviously, this was a one-sided love situation. So... For the Sag over here going in a new direction, your biggest message I can do is move forward, have courage, but you have six of swords. So you're learning a lesson. You're picking up on something. You're slowly but surely going in a new direction. Okay. You could be giving birth to a new idea. Yeah, see, three of pentacles. Giving birth to a new idea, teamwork, putting the effort in. Something's going to pay off. Some of you, this is work. And it's also compromise. Something's going to pay off. You're going to get a message. That's it's like good news, new job, new contract, falling in love. Meeting the one could get a new job. You, I don't, I don't know. You, whatever you're doing, you go in a new direction. You found someone who's pretty special. Holy shit! You got the lovers there too. It's like a past life. So slowly but surely, if you haven't started to feel this yet, you're about to. You're gonna find a happy medium. Okay. Over here, that's the tower. All right, it's you can't avoid it. It's all done being avoided. Cycle's over. There is the ending to some type of commitment, two of cups here, okay, reverse. Like I said, that's one-sided, one-sided love, one-sided scenario, didn't work out. You now need the strength to move forward. You got the lovers. There had to have been a third party here for some of you. Others of you, because this is like another message. Something's over. Now you need the courage to follow your destined path. And you have somebody that loves unconditionally, that can give to you, that can nurture you. Or vice versa. See? Long term. Long term. Because this one commitment's over, this one cycle. And now you need a strength to follow your destined path. It's like you're being led. Majority of you know who this is already. So don't let fear stop you. Because this is the Grim Reaper energy I'm kind of picking up from the Leo read or just over in general with the tower having to accept it. Fear means... You're accepting it and trying to move forward, so that would make sense if those were linked. Because you have to have the, the strength now. Something's over. So, somehow you all know each other. Family member, friends. Some of you guys are most definitely linked. Because someone's getting out of a cycle and having something new with you. So there is a cycle that's over. It was a one-sided karmic some type of situation that clearly did not work. Tower's coming in. It was built on a false foundation for the wrong reasons, you know. And now you need faith, 
strength and, and, and faith. Some move forward. You have a mutual love here. Somebody who knows how to nurture, take care of things. She could be a mom. She could be a business owner. If you're a masculine watching. Who's coming in as empress. Or this is you just going in a new direction and bam, you run into this. Well, not this. You would already have the courage to move forward. So yeah, you all know. You all have, you know what this is telling me? You all have your new story. At the end of the day, there's still a lot going on. But you all have a new chapter. So how are we going to push through this? I must have a lot of karmics that are still watching and need help and advice. Because now we have, with every fire sign, two stories. A positive one and a negative one. Stop letting the negativity get the best of you. There's a new chapter opening. It's such a clear message for my fire signs. And for some reason, you know, for the collective, it's important for you to know that too. You got to push through. All right, so I will see you on Patreon. You got to have the courage to push through, work together, compromise, put the effort in. Over here... Got to let it go. I think you are. And still, again, having the fear, like the courage. You're like, you're being guided. You're good. You have a solid situation here with the lover. Long term, something solid. And it could be at lifetimes after lifetimes. There's something here that's absolutely beautiful. So continue to have that strength to move forward. Break up separation, stop in the old pattern with abandonment. So yeah, had had to leave a situation. But having the strength, there was the boat, okay? Leaving a karmic relationship, letting go, again, learning the lesson. Perfect. Following your destiny. I just want one for the staff. The runner in the coffee cup. So this person could still be listening to their ego. But it, again, it's fear. Okay? But following it. And then wanting to meet up and talk. Again, ego. Fear. It's all it is. Okay? Push through. You're about to come into a destined path. Old chapters closing. New ones opening. I'll see you on Patreon. Love you guys. Have a kick-ass week.